Welcome back to the Pendulum Challenge. After a few more days I've managed to conclude that I've got a problem with my pendulum. And the problem with my seesaw is it's not balanced properly. I don't have enough weight on one end and I don't have enough weight on the other end and the weight's in the wrong place. So, whilst I show you, you'll have to forgive the mess. My teammate and their pendulums are much neater. Hopefully you'll see that at some point. But for the time being, uh, half a tank of water as I often do and another half quite empty over there. These weights counterbalancing my pendulum will be moved to here to gain efficiency. It will provide a more vivid, violent up and down movement. This pendulum here is about to become longer, also to gain efficiency. And I'm thinking about replacing the top strut with some slightly thicker steel uh, to accommodate for a lot more mass. Um, but I'm probably only going to go for 300 kilos this time, so it shouldn't matter too much. But after checking out the numbers on all three of the pumps, or four of the pumps, and this one, I managed to conclude that but off the top of my head the, um, the car radiator pump was by far and away best uh, that was 40 watts uh, to pump a given amount of water 50 litres was the uh, number in question 60, 60 watts so losing 50% efficiency there was the pond pump and the first test of this pendulum uh, worked out to 120 watts so extremely bad um, however that was really just the first test run to see what happened. Um, I knew perfectly well that the triggering system to keep the pendulum swinging was triggering way past when the pendulum could actually receive the energy. So most of the push was absolutely wasted. Um, so after some tweaking in a couple of ways, I got that down to just a tiny bit worse. I think it was about 45 watts, a tiny bit worse than the off-the-shelf uh, radiator pump um, and then by lowering the power down really extremely low um, really not practically low um, but I managed to get twice as good as the off-the-shelf radiator pump but the pendulum was moving really very slowly indeed and not pumping much water so if you want an extremely efficient water pump that is far too large to be practical uh, this will do it and it will pump water up to twice the height and for the same amount of energy or you basically think the key element here is the fact that um, you can pump it up for cheaper than, than you could before and you'll get more back if you um, put it through a turbine on the way back down again so this will hopefully become efficient even more so and even more so practical, I suspect. But anyway, the reason for this update is that I'm about to go drastic with my grinder and my welder and um, take this project to the next step. I could see exactly where it was going. All these things are inevitable, um, but I wanted to do some testing first to see what it was like uh, with this pretty crude arrangement. And a little bit worse than I expected. Uh, but that's okay because uh, the next one will be a max power model and I expect it to be pretty well as good as I imagine it can be which is between 7 to 10 for 1. Anyway, pleasantly ambiguous numbers. I'll get back to you shortly on uh, just how that worked out. Enjoy.